In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can send back uh, intermediate responses from an XBasic function that is handling an AJAX callback. So we call that a chunked response. So by default, uh, when you make an AJAX callback, the XBasic function that handles the callback uh, completes executing, and when it completes executing, it sends back the JavaScript to the client and the client executes that JavaScript. But in a uh, chunked response, the XBasic function can send back intermediate responses. So we can see here, we'll make a standard AJAX callback, and then we get our response over there. But when we make a uh, chunked callback, you can see that what happens is, um, as soon as we start sending back messages, we see the messages um, popping up on the screen. So there you can see we've sent back uh, three messages, then a done message, and then finally the AJAX callback completes and sends back its uh, final response. So let's take a look now at how you can set up a AJAX callback to make uh, chunked responses. So we'll go back into design mode and here's our button that makes the AJAX callback and you can see now that basically within the AJAX uh, uh, action JavaScript builder, there's a new section here called uh, chunked responses. So I've turned that on, so I've said allow chunked responses. And then I said that the maximum number of messages, the, or the maximum number of chunks that we're going to send back is minus one, which means that there is going to be no limit. And then we've set the maximum duration for callbacks uh, to be 600. So that basically means that uh, the uh, XBasic function needs to complete within 600 uh, seconds. Um, and if it doesn't complete within that specified amount of time, then the client will stop processing messages. So we make this change here to our definition of our callback. And then in the actual callback itself, in order to uh, send back these intermediate messages, these so-called chunks, we can see that we go to our XBasic function and you can see that in the XBasic function, we use this um, uh, helper function here called A5 AJAX chunk response write, which sends an intermediate message back. And then when we're done, we call A5 AJAX chunk responses done. So you can see that what we're doing is we're computing over here uh, four different JavaScript messages, and each one of these uh, uh, JavaScript commands here sets the inner HTML of a pre-tag. So we have over here a pre-tag where we're writing in some data. So each one of those um, uh, JavaScript um, uh, commands uh, or little scripts uh, are setting the inner HTML to, in the first case, message one, then message two, then message three, then done and then we're calling the, um, the chunked response done. And then finally, we're sending the, the standard AJAX response from the AJAX uh, callback. So if we go ahead now and we run it, we'll see that basically um, the, we send the first message and then we wait for a second. Then we send the next message, we wait again. So the waits here are just intended to, to put in some delay between each one of the messages. So in a real world application, you might have an AJAX callback that does um, uh, a bunch of uh, uh, things. Uh, so typically this would be a long running task and you want to send messages back to the user telling them that, uh, uh, that the work is being done. You know, please be patient and give them some type of uh, progress indicator for what stage of the work um, has currently been uh, completed. So in order to actually get this code here, you can use the function prototype. So if we go into our um, builder there and then open up the AJAX uh, callback builder and then click on XBasic function prototype, you can see here that in the help text, at the end of this, um, the help text, we have a sample um, uh, XBasic code for sending out uh, chunk responses. Thanks very much for watching.